when you did the show, yeah. it was all hell could break loose, and very often did. Yes. And, uh, what was that? Uh, ladies uh, and gentlemen of the jury, if you take a look at this bit of evidence, uh, Jack, describe uh, what is transpiring here. Well, obviously, I'm leaving. Yeah. In 1960, Jack Power was telling a story to the audience, a somewhat risque story. This lady was wanted to know where the WC was. Which is short for water closet, which means bathroom. Now, how shocking is that today? They censored it, and they knew not what they did. Then they admitted that they had made a mistake, and uh, I said then, if you made a mistake, you should admit it. Sure. Should. Yeah. Well, they didn't. So I said, well, then, I have a surprise for you. Jack came on the next night, did his monologue, sat down at the desk, started the show, and just suddenly, like a lightning bolt. There must be a better way of uh, <laughs> making a living than this. You have been peachy to me always. And Jack walked off his show. We were all dumbfounded in the control room. And my first thought was, this is a joke. It was a stunning, shocking moment. It, it's Richter scale. For the month after Jack Parr leaves, you don't know whether Jack's going to come back. And the future of The Tonight Show was in jeopardy. Because if Parr didn't come back, that might have been a nice little experiment that stopped right there. 